hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see a response model return type topic so in this topic we'll see how we can define return type in our uh, our code fast api code so let's get started so here uh, i'll just copy and paste the code and i'll just uh, paste that code here okay so here as you can see that we have uh, one model which is item uh, where it has name description price text and other parameters and uh, here like earlier if i'll do control z then we are not defining any return type here uh, as of now right so uh, for this code as you can see that like we have one model item if you don't know how we define model then you can watch my previous video i have uh, mentioned these things in those videos so like we have this name field with string and it is required field and if we say none then it is not required and default value is none okay for description and price is uh, having a float data type okay and uh, similarly for this like we have we can have a list of uh, strings uh, uh, for this tax and uh, by default it will we like empty list okay so here as you can see that this is the one endpoint for items and here uh, like it will uh, take item and it will return the item okay and uh, as you can see that if we are returning the item then we have defined it uh, its type as a item so um, by this we can uh, we can say fast api that we are going to return this item uh, data type okay means uh, we will return this type of uh, formatted data where we will have name description price and all in the response okay so by this like uh, this symbol and this uh, uh, um, by this symbol and this uh, return type we can uh, have a good uh, fast api inbuilt validations and all support okay so that's how you can define return type here and uh, also we can have like another data types in the return type let's say we can also have list of item in the uh, in the data type okay in the return type sorry and uh, by 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 including that we can have inbuilt validation and uh, other uh, functionalities which fast api uh, and pindentic model provides us okay so that's the thing and uh, we can have this uh, field called response model so i'll just copy this code and uh, here i'll just paste that so as you can see that if we uh, we don't want to define the return type here then we can say response model is equal to item so like we can define this response model here so uh, like fast api will know that we are going to return this item model in the response okay and it will take item here as as a request so that is the thing and means this any means uh, like uh, we are going to return anything but uh, as we have defined response model so fast api will know that like uh, response type will be the uh, like in the item type so it will automatically convert those returned data into this specific format okay it will match with this if this will not uh, like valid then uh, it will give us the error okay so this is the main thing okay and uh, like if we define some return type let's say we have defined this return type let's say any and this is the response model then the priority will be uh, first for this response model field okay so it fast api will consider this response model uh, as a first priority instead of uh, this return type okay so like by considering response model it will uh, like do validation and all kind of thing uh, okay so that is the thing and uh, now like, i'll just copy this code and i'll just paste that here okay so here as you can see that we have defined one user in model where it is having username password email and full name okay 
and what we are doing it is taking user in as a input and it will returning user in uh, model as a model object as a output okay but uh, in a real world we are not going to return password in the response like right so if suppose we or any user is uh, triggering this endpoint and it is giving the username password and all kind of field but uh, if we uh, like we want to get the response then we uh, in general we don't uh, return password in the response right so we need to anyhow manage this thing okay so for that like we can also have a uh, output model okay so i'll just copy and paste that here so as you can see that uh, like we have two models here user in where it has username password and all and uh, user out which has username email and full name okay so here as you can see that uh, we are giving user in as an input and uh, here we are defining any type means uh, we can return anything but we have defined re response model here so fast api will consider that you uh, in response we need to return this kind of uh, model okay user out so whatever we are giving in this user in uh, model then uh, it will match with this uh, user in model okay and then uh, we have also defined response model so um, by that it will return uh, this model object okay so it will return username email and full name so i'll just qu quickly run this so here i will just open my terminal and uh, here uh, i'll need to uh, start my virtual environment so i'll say vnv slash uh, this is powershell by the way so i will open my command prompt here and uh, my virtual environment already get started so i'll just say uh, uv corn uv corn then um, our python file name then our app name and we can say reload okay so for auto reload of our application uh, okay so we need to install this email uh, field from this pydentix because we are using email str and uh, we need to uh, install that so i'll just quickly install that and i'll just paste that here and uh, while it is getting installed let's go ahead okay so now we can also define a uh, base model and uh, we'll we'll see this later so i uh, okay so this is already got installed so now i will just quickly run that command again i will need to type so i'll say uh, uvcore main app and uh, then minus minus reload okay so now our app got started and now i'll go in docs so as you can see we have our endpoint which is which we have defined here for user and we have user out as a response model and user in as a, re a request model so here uh, as you can see it is taking string uh, username string password string email name as this kind of format and full name as string format okay so here i'll just click on try it out and before we go ahead let's see the uh, description of response so as you can see that we have uh, this only three fields in this response uh, format so it automatic automatically knows that uh, we need to return this uh, this thing in a response okay so i will uh, just say raj username is raj and password let's say rp123 and uh, i will consider this as a user okay and i'll say rp123 and i'll just quickly execute this 
so as you can see that we are getting our response okay and in response we are not getting password field so that is the thing which we want to uh, do right because in a request we want to send the password but uh, whenever we are getting the response we don't want to include that password so that's why we do use this uh, like a response model for our uh, better uh, like uh, privacy okay and uh, for our convenience so yeah that is the thing and uh, now we'll go back and uh, here i'll just copy paste this code okay and uh, as you can see that now uh, we are not uh, defining like both the uh, user in and user out model but what we are doing instead of defining those we are what what we are doing we are creating a one base model okay like this is the base user which is inheriting from base model and uh, in those uh, in the in that model we are defining username email and full name okay and uh, also we are creating user in model where we are only just defining password so uh, it is inheriting from this base user so it will have all the fields uh, available in this user in model so here as you can see we are only considering uh, user in as a request model and in a response model we can just uh, add this model base user so in response we will only get these three fields and in request we need to pass password which is a required field so that is the thing which uh, this documentation is suggesting to us to do okay and uh, yeah now let's go ahead and uh, we can also have other return type annotations so let's let's grab this code okay and uh, here i'll just copy and paste this and so here uh, we are returning a response type so we must need to return any subclasses or uh, the same class object in the response so as you can see we are re returning redirect response which is the class subclass of this response class so it is okay when we uh, when we return subclass of this response class then fast api will not give us the error so it will work uh, fine okay so now i'll just uh, go ahead and uh, like if also we can uh, directly return the subclass of that particular response class so i'll just uh, copy and paste and this is also a valid thing we can return any subclass of the response model so we have redirect response which is a subclass of response so that is fine but let's consider this scenario so i'll just copy and paste and as you can see that uh, we are returning like we are saying that we we can have a response class or a dictionary object so when we want to like uh, have a response combined then combined type then uh, fast api will give us the error because like uh, we need to include something uh, so fast api can understand that we can have uh, any type of response okay but here we haven't defined so it will give us the error and uh, like let's let's do this thing so if we consider this thing then we need to include this response model is equal to none okay so i'll just copy and paste here and here as you can see that we have defined response model is equal to none so now fast api will not give us the error so it will return uh, like anything from this like response class object or any dictionary object so this is this is fine but earlier we haven't defined this response model is equal to none so that's why fast api was confused and it it uh, it can give us the error so that is the thing here so now uh, now i will just go ahead and i'll just copy and paste this code uh, okay so so here uh, we have this item model where we have name as a string description which is uh, not required field then price then text uh, which has default value 10.5 and text which has default value uh, empty list and uh, like it can have list of strings okay inside that and uh, here we have defined uh, dummy data so for this uh, uh, first uh, key we have this name and price okay for this second key we have this name description price and text where we have overridden this text value as a 20.2 okay and uh, here like we have uh, base key where we have name description 
we are considering it as a none and we are having text as an empty list okay and we are overriding this uh, text is equal to 10.5 okay so now uh, now what it is taking it is taking one string and it is re returning some data from this items so here one thing to thing to notice like response model exclude unset we have defined is equal to true so what this uh, mean is uh, like uh, we have defined this value it means that it will not consider the values which has no uh, like we haven't defined anything in this uh, uh, data okay so let's say we have name and price okay and uh, like we are not defining that value here then it will not return means uh, all the unset value will not uh, get uh, back in this response okay so i'll just refresh my page here and uh, as you can see now i'll just click on try it out and i'll say foo okay because we want this string so i will pass this string foo here and uh, i will just execute this so as you can see that we are getting this response because we have passed foo here we are getting this response name and price okay so name and price we are getting okay uh, let's say if i i i pass bar here okay bar and i'll just execute then we are getting name description price and text okay uh, which is this value okay and uh, now let's let's say we are considering this base then if i'll paste this here then as you can see that uh like we are getting this response description price tax and uh, tax okay so like we have in uh, excluded unsetted values okay now also we can have another uh, parameter which is response model uh, exclude okay uh, so we can have response model include with response model exclude field so i'll just copy and paste this code here and here as you can see that in uh, this uh, uh, endpoint uh, we can define this response model item here and also we can define response model include parameter so we can define this like we need name and description okay and also we can define here uh, in this second endpoint what we are doing we are defining response model exclude is equal to text so we can uh like exclude any any parameters from the request okay so by this we can uh, do this kind of things okay so also like we are writing this in a set okay here and here but also if we do write in a list let's say here uh, i'll just copy this and i'll just paste that here so as you can see it is uh, we have uh, it we have written in it uh, in a set so now fast api will automatically convert this into a uh, set from list okay so that is the main thing that's it for this video i hope you understood this concept if you did then please do subscribe my channel and uh, do like for this video i'll see you in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye